morning students. Uh, it's good to see y'all. I can't see any of y'all, but still, nonetheless, I uh, hope you can see me. Uh, we're going to uh, just start uh, this uh, little virtual youth service with a time of worship, um, and then we're going to go into a message. Um, so I pray that you're all doing well, um, and with that, let me open up with a word of prayer. Um, dear God, you are so, so good. God, we trust you in the valley as much as we trust you on the mountaintop, God. You provide uh, no matter where we are, no matter what season we're in, you're still a good, good father. Um, that is unchanging. You're perfect in every way. Um, you are faithful even when we are not. So, God, we want to praise you this morning. Um, and it's in your name that we pray, Jesus. Amen. Son, till kingdom come, your faithful love is unfailing, though shadows turn and tempest stir, still you, O oh God, are unchanging, through every hour, I will recall. says the Lord said to Moses tell Aaron and his sons 
This is how you are to bless the Israelites. Say to them, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Um, and no matter what uh, season you're in, uh, personally in your walk with the Lord, um, whether you're dealing with um, some anxiety um, because of all the, the events that have been happening or or maybe you're the closest you've ever been to the Lord, His promise for you, you is unchanging, that He, he will protect you um, and, and, and your peace. He will give you peace even in, the, in the, the greatest of storms. So just let this song sing over you and your family um, and trust that the Lord is good.
Father to us. Um, especially in the times um, of desperate need. I know we're always in need, Father, of you. Um, but sometimes it can seem like more than others. The fact is that uh, you are faithful and you are unchanged. And so we can hold on to that and have peace in that, God, that that you've got a firm grasp on us in this season. God, that you are with us, all around us, and within us. Um, and, and just knowing that, that you are here right now, is comforting, to say the least. God, so you are good, and we love you and we praise you. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Miles. I appreciate it, homie. Crazy, crazy grateful. Students, it's good to see you guys. Uh, definitely miss you guys like crazy. Lots of things going on in life and not able to be together right now. All right. Hey, if you uh, can, uh, go ahead and grab your print Bible. You may need to do that because you're watching live here. So. Uh, go ahead and grab your Bible. It is really good to see you guys. Man, I uh, being just here in our high school space on a Sunday morning uh, without you physically present is a little weird. Yet it brings back, I mean, just tons of memories. We've only been, you know, gone for a few weeks and haven't been able to physically be together. But it honestly feels like a reunion to come into this room and just all the memories and all the time with you guys. And so really excited just for our time this morning. And and so we've been doing lots of things on social media, and mostly every day at 11 o'clock we'll post a devotional. We're doing a 40-day devotional, and then we'll try to do something quirky, um, funny, just to get some interaction with you, just to get you just to let us know what's going on in your world. Things like uh, Mealtime Monday, what are you cooking? Some of you may be cooking for the first time. Tuesdays is Testimony Tuesday. I'll be driving around with somebody, and they're just going to share their story, and just to hear you know, how they came to faith and all that kind of stuff. And so each day we've got some stuff going on. And so, yeah, so I was actually just pondering things this week. And, and I read a, an amazing book uh, by John Piper a few weeks ago, or a few years ago. And it talked about the whole concept came from this passage in James, how life is a vapor. And now most of you, hopefully you don't smoke. I don't think it's the wisest thing in the world. But you've been around somebody who vapes or you've been around somebody who smokes or you've been in, you know, really cold temperatures and somebody breathes and you see the smoke come out of their mouth and in a matter of moments, not even seconds, but in a matter of moments, it just disappears. And so the scripture reminds us of our time here on this world and how limited it is. So I've got a, just a, a passage here. So James chapter four um, and uh, starting at verse 13, and we're going to read through verse 17 and I'll pull out a few nuggets for you. I'll pray for you guys, and then we'll let you go. And I do want to encourage you. Uh, many of you have, you know, I've known you for five years now, and many of you have been thinking, and we've had conversations, man, if I had more time, I could do this. Or, man, if I wasn't so tired because of school and all the activities, I would do this. And, and now those prayers are kind of answered to an extent. I know some of you are doing school online and stuff, but you've got lots more time on your hands. And so... Let's take advantage of it. Let's get after it here a little bit. And so um, in this passage, James chapter 4, starting verse 13, it says this. Come now, you who say today or tomorrow, we will go to such and such a city, a city and spend a year there and engage in business and make a profit. Now, you may be thinking like, OK, is, that, is it bad for us to plan? No, it's wise for us, but it's actually quite fitting right now because Many businesses aren't able to do much, and lots of businesses are closing, and so it's just a weird time for us right now. And it goes on, it says, um, yet you do not know what your life will be like tomorrow, which is very true. Many of us have thought, man, I had no idea my life would be like it is now in this particular season that we're in. You are just a vapor that appears for a little while and then vanishes away. Now think about that for a moment. Maybe even close your eyes and think about seeing smoke come out of somebody's mouth or seeing uh, in the cold of winter and seeing the breath that somebody breathes and then it disappears in a matter of moments. And the scripture says our life is like that. 
Our life is yet a vapor. Instead, you ought to say, if the Lord wills, we will live and also do this or that. But as it is, you boast in your arrogance. All such boasting is evil. Therefore, to one who knows the right thing to do and does not do it to him, it is a sin. So let me just pull out a few nuggets here, students. I want to remind us that we were not created for this world. Like, God knows what he's doing. He's in control. Um, he's been that way from the beginning of time. When did that time begin? I have no idea because God's been around forever. And so but I want to remind us today that God is still in control. He knows what he's doing. And I want to remind us of our position in this world and our place in this world. And I think at times we can get arrogant. I think at times we can think, man, I should, I should be maybe be in control. I would do better. Or I'd be able to do this. Or we're criticizing maybe the government or whoever else. Like they need to be doing this or that. And we tend to think like we know best. And students, we don't know what's best. God knows what's best. And so if our life is a vapor, if our life is short, if our life here on this earth is such a short duration of time, the question I think God has for us is, what would it look like for you to make today matter? What would it look like for you in this season that we're in, with you being stuck at home and not being able to go out very much, and every time you go to the grocery store, you're standing in line at H-E-B just to get in the door, whatever it is, like... Like you're arguing with your brother and sister and, you know, your mom and dad are getting a little tense because, you know, you're just in a confined space. What, whatever it is, like what would it look like for you to make this day count, like this season count? Like let's not do what is so easy for us to do and say, I can't wait till this season is over. It's so easy to think, man, I can't wait till I graduate until the next thing. We think the next thing is always better. It's always easier. Life will be less difficult. I'll have less tension or struggles or issues in my life if I just get to this next position in my life. And yet, what would it look like in the midst of the things that are going on, in the midst of your specific world right now, to make it count, to make it matter? And so, students, life is a vapor. And so what would it look like for you to make today count? And so I, there's this um, guy. He's not a believer. Let me premise it with that. Um, but there's this guy I follow, and uh, I, I listen to his podcasts, which are like four hours long, which is pretty insane, actually, but I really enjoy it. And his name is Jocko, and again, he's not a believer. Um, half the stuff this dude says, I'm like, what? The Bible says that. Like, the Bible says that. He's got this favorite phrase of mine, and he says, um, discipline equals freedom, and I just love it. And we talked about that a little bit maybe a month and a half ago, but um, I did my quiet time through Deuteronomy, and I thought that over and over and over, like, Discipline equals freedom. You pursue Christ, you pursue the Lord, and do all that He desires for you to do, and there's freedom in that. It actually, He doesn't confine us, it brings freedom for us. And so, so a phrase that I've been telling myself over and over, and just because my rhythm is off and things aren't normal, I'm at home a lot with four kids, and we now have internet again for the first time in two and a half years, and so figuring out this life at home, a, a phrase I keep telling myself is discipline equals freedom. I need to get up early and spend time in, in in the words still, I need to continue to get out there and be active and all that kind of stuff. And so I just want to encourage you students, like you only get one life here on this earth to make it count. And life is a vapor. What would it look like for us to get after it in this season? And so actually, I want to encourage you, uh, just as a, as a way for you specifically today, just to branch out a little bit. I just want you to go ahead and pick up your phone. Uh, and I want you to text one person that you need to text. It doesn't need to be anything crazy, but to say, hey, man, I was thinking about you. Whoever God just put on your mind, and God, probably, and God did just put somebody on your mind, whoever it is, just text them. And just say, hey, man, I hope you're doing well. I know life's crazy, blah, blah, blah. You know, just I want you to reach out to one person right now and just to see how they're doing. Touch base with them, all right? You may be able to yell across the street, whatever it is, but, but message somebody right now and just say, hey, like, how you doing? I was thinking about you. I was praying for you this morning. And, and pray, if you're going to say that, make sure you actually pray for them. And just reach out to them. See how they're doing. Maybe it's somebody that you've had some tension with or somebody you haven't seen in a while or, or maybe somebody that you know God just placed on your heart and you should reach out to them. And let's do that. Let's reach out to one person today. Encourage them. Let them know that you're thinking of them and praying for them. So students, let me pray for you. Uh, very grateful. We miss you guys like crazy. And uh, most of you guys saw my, have my cell phone number. And, but if there's anything at all that you need, seriously, let me know. You've got my cell phone. Um, and if you don't, just shoot us a message here. Um, on our Instagram or any of our, our uh, social media platforms and I'd love just to touch base with you. Even if you're just, you're going through a really hard time and you need a, a phone call every day, let me know. 
Miles and I and all of our small group leaders, we are here. And I do want to remind you, we do have Zoom small groups on Wednesday night, 7 o'clock. All right, so your small group leaders will be touching base with you. Make sure you're connecting with them, touching base with them. And if you have any questions, just uh, reach out to myself or your leaders. So let's pray. God, thank you so much for this time that we have this morning. Uh, God, it's a reminder that your church is in a season right now. We have an opportunity where we are scattered abroad in our city, in our nation. God, help us to continue to pursue you. Thank you for the reminder, Lord, in the book of James. The life is a vapor. It's short. The days may seem long and the seasons that we're in may seem long and difficult. But yet, God, our lives are extremely short in the grand scheme of things. And so let, let's make them count. Let's take our next step of obedience, God, to pursue your son, Jesus, and whatever that looks like for each of us. Let's not complicate. Let's not make it difficult. Let's ask ourselves, God, what do you want me to do right now to pursue you? What, what do I need to do right now to pursue you and to grow closer to your son, Jesus, and help us to do that? God, I pray for our students as we are scattered throughout the city. And I pray you encourage them. Help them just to pursue you like crazy. Help them to know that you're in control. We pray all of this in the powerful name of Jesus. Amen. Love you guys. I hope you guys are doing amazing, and we will see you later.